exactly what I said. What'd you say? Gabooine already? Good morning, booze, and happy Gabooine! This is the first Gabooine vlog of the season. So all the videos that I'm going to be making this Gabooine season are going to be inspired by Tumblr 2015. That was the year that Gabooine started. So I actually online shopped for high-end brands for like a luxury haul, and I decided instead of doing a separate video, I'm going to show you guys my haul in a vlog. So stay tuned for the end of this video to see the try-on haul and the luxury haul for fall. Usually I start the Gabooine season with a luxury haul. Allie's on her way over. We're going to do like like a TikTok together. So we had a girls night this past weekend and it went viral. We did like the Tumblr girl aesthetic in my closet with our friend Zena. No, it was not Nash. Everyone thought it was V Squad. Nash is actually living somewhere else. Zena, Ali and I got together this weekend and made this TikTok and it went viral. So we kind of want to play off of it again. Ali's coming over today and we're going to dress like our 2015 versions of ourselves and we're going to go get Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice Lattes. I'm then going to go to Bath and Body Works and I'll give you guys the haul, the luxury haul and Bath and Body Works haul all in one. So with that being said i do want to show you guys this nightgown that i got it's not a nightgown it's a night top it's from daily sleeper and then i got like matching pajama pants that have like fuzzies hanging off of it but this size is a little too big for me so i've been wearing this like a dress and i'll probably be wearing those pants separately but i'm going to show you them anyway so this is what the bottom of my pajamas look like so the top is definitely very big but i feel like it's a vibe i look like a pink bath and body works i want to be real with you guys right now I started this vlog with like some cover up on my chin. I want to show you guys my uneven skin tone, acne scarring, and problems that I've been having this month. So here is an up close of my jaw. I've been breaking out so bad. So this is my Sea Glow Resurfacing Scrub by Osea. And I wanted to show you the before and afters of what this looks like before I use this. This is like a three-in-one product. What I mean by three-in-one is it cleanses my skin. So I'm about to wash my face because it's the morning. It also resurfaces my skin so it gets rid of this texture and makes it smooth, a nice base before I start my makeup, which is what I'm about to do. And it also restores the radiance in this dull complexion all in one. So it's a three-in-one product. I like to use my fingers and then I just, my face is damp right now, but I add water to it and then I just scrub and I use my hands. I don't use a brush. I focus down here, but because it's a cleanser, I do use it on my entire face, but I want to resurface my jaw before doing my makeup today. So basically you exfoliate, cleanse and glow. This scrub is made out of flower acids, kiwi, glacial ocean clay, bentonite, volcanic sand, blue green algae, and cloudberry seed oil. It smells so good and I can't wait to show you guys the after on my jaw. One of my favorite things about this scrub is it removes morning oils from my face. So when I wake up, my skin's really oily, and when I go to bed, my skin is rather dry, especially from wearing makeup all day. So the cleansing part of this 3-in-1 product really, really helps remove that icky morning oil. It smooths away rough skin so that it's a nice base before applying my makeup. This is my favorite morning product. This is the after. There's still obviously some discoloration, but the texture is a lot more smooth. So when I apply my foundation, you're not gonna see bumps. It has like some aromatherapy qualities to this. So yeah, it's like a bouncy whipped marshmallow texture. So this is my first step in my routine. I use this two to three times a week. I don't use this every day. Look how shiny my skin is. It totally exfoliated my face and I'm ready for makeup. And thank you Osea for sponsoring this first Gabooine vlog of the season.
Hey guys, it's Gabby and Allie. And we're about to get Pumpkin Spice Lattes 2014-2015 version in our leggings. We wanted to make another 2014-2015 TikToks. This is literally giving me deja vu and I'm sure it's giving you guys deja vu as well. So we're going to get Pumpkin Spice Lattes at Dunkin' and then Allie has to go home. It's winter's first day of school. And yeah, congrats winter if you're watching this. <laughs> then I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works and then give you guys the long awaited luxury haul for fall at the end of this vlog. So let's go get some Pumpkin Spice Lattes. Let's go. <laughs> I feel like we're like playing. Like I dropped winter off at school this morning and now I'm like, I'm a kid again. <laughs> now we're gonna go get Pumpkin Spice Lattes. If only she knew what we did. I wow, know. She's gone. She's so cute, yeah, so grown she up. She has a personality. You remember she was a newborn on this channel when we went to the mall? Oh, KOP. I have not gone to KOP forever. Same. It really is old times. You know what I said? What'd you say? At exactly 112 degrees. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to try the Dunkin' Pumpkin Spice Latte, and then I'm boring. I get, I get ice black coffee with pumpkin flavoring, mm -hmm. but let's cheers. Mm. Mm. This is my first pumpkin spice of the season. <gasps> this is an iconic <laughs> first pumpkin spice of the season. I already had mine. It was uh, like two days ago. It's okay. But this is good. This is so cute. Cheers. Mm. Hey boos, my tea room looks like it exploded. I have been piling up items that I got for fall. A whole new fall wardrobe is on the couch over there. On the table, I have candles, Lush, my new Chanel bag for this season. Let me just show you guys. So first things first, this is my hand-painted cream Chanel bag. She looks so cute with my 1906K of this painting. This is a hand-painted vintage Chanel bag. It's cream. I love the additions added to it. Painted on ivy. Just looks so artsy and I feel like it gives like fall vibes, pumpkin vibes. I don't know. I just thought it was so different. I love this size. The size is perfect for travel and it's cream so I don't have to worry about it getting dirty when I'm traveling. I just feel like it's the perfect carry-on to put like my iPad. Matches like all my whimsical looking outfits. I just think it's so perfect for me. Also I got this at Designer Consigner if you guys were wondering. I don't know. It just gives like Cinderella carriage vibes. I can't explain it. I went to Victoria's Secret Pink and I got this t-shirt shirt because I thought this just looks so cute and the cursive P with the spider on the front corner. I love long sleeve t-shirts for fall. I also went to Bath and Body Works and I obviously got pumpkin cupcake and then I got walk in the woods. This smells sexy. It's so good. I then got together weather. This smells so romantic. It has like this sugary like woody smell. It's just so good and I also got this farmhouse pumpkin and spice soap for the kitchen. I then went to Lush and they didn't have fall just yet but they did have the Barbie Lab, so I got the Barbie scent Barbie dream in a scrub and this smells like bubble gum I already used this in combination with together weather and this was a very pleasant shower experience these two scents together so if you guys want to try it I highly recommend just a heads up these outfits are gonna be wrinkly I just unboxed these so this is from urban outfitters I'm gonna have to steam this but look how cute the collar is love that this is an actual mini dress it's very flattering for a petite body type I love how it's like a 1940 silhouette with puff sleeves and my favorite part Part is the bows, the blue bows all over this cream colored dress. Take my hair down. This dress makes me want to take my hair down. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I love this dress. Obsessed. Fairy vibes. <laughs> I then got this really comfortable jersey top from Poshmark. It looks Victorian, it looks piratey. It's banded like a trumpet sleeve, but it's super comfortable. Then I got this ballerina, almost like crinoline vibe skirt from Urban Outfitters. It's just so pretty. I feel like a ballerina in this outfit and I can't get over how comfortable this whole outfit is. I'm also gonna use this top to model some more bottoms that I got in my shopping haul. Okay, so I had to move the camera lower to show you this skirt. So I got this like underskirt from Urban Outfitters that's meant to layer with other skirts or dresses. And then I got this like overskirt that could also be worn separately and I'm wearing them together. And this looks like a bustle almost with this skirt. I feel like this outfit would be seen in the live action Little Mermaid for some reason. But with this top, it really feels 
almost costumey. Like, I love it so much. It's very fairy tale vibes. So this is the vision that I saw when I got the Chanel bag. I feel like my style is just so not trendy. It's just super fairy tale vibes. I also love the fact that I have the Chanel bag that's also the fairy tale vibes. So those of you who want to hate on my new Chanel, this is the vision. Like, this is the bag that I carry when I'm dressed not so modern, <laughs> but I want to carry a Chanel. These, I think, are my favorite purchase from Urban Outfitters. I couldn't believe they had them. It's very free people vibes. They're these really cute lounge bloomer pants. And I feel like if I had a sword, I would look like Elizabeth Swan, like ready to fight someone on a pirate ship right now. But I love it. I love this vibe so much. The next item I'm gonna show you is this skirt. I actually found this at an antique shop. This is what it looks like on. I feel like this looks like musical theater, but that's why I love it so much. Look at this underskirt that already comes with it. I love the trim, all the layers. So much going on. I just, I love this skirt so much. It's so comfortable. I then got this vintage Victoria's Secret sweater dress that's like half sweater, half slip. And I posted this for my Gabaline photo shoot on Instagram and everyone wanted to know where I got this from. If you guys can't get a good read, this is like powder pink. It's just so chic and so cute. But I did go ahead and get these like yarn bows separately from Urban Outfitters. And in that photo shoot, I did this with it like right in the middle, like that. So cute, right? I love this dress so much, it's so comfortable. You get the best of both worlds. I then got this romper and these ears to be a black cat for one of my nights for Halloween. I just thought this was so cute with the Peter Pan collar and the furry ears. I love this outfit so much and I know you guys do too. So cute. So this is just meant to be sexy. This is Vintage Victoria's Secret. It's powder pink and it's also from Poshmark. It's so cute. I can't snap this all the way up myself, but it's supposed to look like that. I love the frills on the skirt. This dress looks a lot like the other white one I wore. This is also from Urban Outfitters. I feel like the difference is the top and like the skirt obviously, but it's still the same vibe. I also got a sheer dress cover to wear like over other dresses. This sheer dress cover is also from Poshmark and it's free people. So this is what it looks like. It has like this really cute high collar and the sleeves are really cute and pretty. I love layers with dresses and skirts. I feel like I could wear this over like a white slip and it could be a look as well. I really love the buttons. I feel like it's very fairy tale vibes. I then got this pajama top on Poshmark. It's vintage Victoria's Secret. I actually had this exact top in 2017 and I got it again because I stumbled across it and I was like, why on earth did I get rid of this beautiful holiday rose gold silk top? And I feel like this is just a very cute pajama in general. I'm gonna wear this to bed tonight. This is adorable. Here's up close of the bow. This is honestly a really freaking cute Instagram post. I also got leg warmers. I'm not gonna put them on right now, but I wanna wear them with like my silky pink ballet flats. Um, I also showed you guys the pajamas this morning. They were all, that was also a part of my haul. Got this powder yellow top that I'm gonna wear in another video, so I'm not gonna put this on right now. But it goes off the shoulder and it's just so cute. And it's knit and it has a little bow. All right, guys, I'm literally standing on this chair. So that was it for this fancy vlog. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this Gabaween vlog. Beautiful mess is available. It's not a complete Gabaween season without your beautiful mess perfume. Also, the Gabriella collection is still available down below and my Halloween costumes are in the works and I can't wait to reveal them to you guys. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next fancy vlog.